Hey there, Marcus here. I'm gonna show you a really cool workflow uh, today. So we're gonna take the Ed Sheeran perfect video. We're gonna take the Monica Lewinsky. I did not have sex. No, sorry, Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual intercourse with that woman video. And we're gonna cut out for uh, cut out segments from it using uh, prompting. So I'm just gonna start before I, I uh, um, tell you the background of this and how it works so i will just write i want all the shots where a pizza is featured and click save and this is gonna start processing now so what you're seeing in front of you is drupal drupal is a cms that's open source uh, it's running something called the AI interpolator, which, which is a module I made that can chain a lot of AI processes and work together with the complex field types that exist in Drupal. And this is using Drupal rather as a CMS automated tool than a uh, CMF automated tool, so the content management framework rather than the CMS. There's probably some editors that could use this. Uh, just so you know, there is JSON API GraphQL modules uh, connected to Drupal. So if you want to set this up, it's very easy. After I've shown you this proof of concept, I'm going to show you how you can set this up in 15 minutes, basically using these modules. Uh, the only thing you need is an OpenAI account. So and, and the cost is actually minimal. So now I got a cut here, basically. So I will... I, we will see now basically if it produced. I want all the shots where a pizza is featured. Be my girl, be your wife, baby, I... Right, so you see it worked, right? Uh, actually, what I could have written here also, so this is important for video editors, you could have write that I, I want uh, them as video snippets and you would get multiple videos back instead of one video, right? So maybe you want to import them into Premiere Pro or something like that. So uh, next step then we do Bill Clinton and uh, we're going to ask then um, can you cut out the part where he is refuting uh, that he had six. So I'm not using his words, but by context, it will be able to understand that that is the sentence that we're looking for. Uh, I'm going to click save. This will probably be a lot faster because it's a, a, a short video in bad resolution. And we got something back. Let's see here. I'm just going to show you the original video first. So you see that it's uh, not just this small part, but a long video. President. So you can see it's Al Gore talking before and so on. And this is what it cut out. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. So that works as well. The reason I wanted to show these two videos was because the first one was a proof of concept that is using the actual uh, uh, images in the video, right? And the second part is that it's using the audio in the video uh, to, to figure out what it should cut. Uh, what is important before I show you how to set this up, this is actually not that expensive. So what I'm doing in this case is that I'm uh, looking for all the scene cuts and keyframes. So basically where something changes in the scene, I take a screenshot of this uh, and then we put this into a grid where we show nine screenshots per image. And then we're asking OpenAI uh, how, uh, Basically, based on this context and getting the transcription from Whisper uh, with all the timestamps, and we also put the timestamps into the images, uh, you know, answer whatever instructions I have there, and then we're just cutting it out. Uh, another thing that's important to know before we show this is that uh, this is Drupal. It's running on a normal LAMP server. You can host it anywhere, but this specific functionality requires FFmpeg because there's a lot of uh, both video reading and video editing uh, being done. Uh, so that's it. Uh, proof of concept. Now I'm going to show you how you can set this up by yourself from basically from scratch.
Hey there, so now I'm gonna show you basically how to set up this uh, almost from scratch. So what I'm, I will not show in this case is how to set up a web server, in this case a local, uh, local uh, development environment. So I'm using ddev in this case uh, for local env uh, development environment. What you need basically is a LAMP server, right? And one more thing. So what I've added in, if you use DDEV, you can add extra packages. You have to have FFmpeg. This is uh, crucial. Otherwise, nothing of this workflow that we show today works. This is a requirement, basically. Um, so I have added that. The other thing I've added is minimum stability dev because we're going to be working with modules that are still in beta in this case. So we have to allow uh, minimum stability dev. Hopefully they will be in production later. I have uh, used the dev to install a plain standard installation of Drupal uh, with nothing extra. So it's the standard profile. This is usually what you get when you install Drupal. What I will add is admin toolbar, which just makes life simpler because the toolbar for the admin becomes a lot more usable. Then uh, the engine of this workflow is the AI interpolator, OpenAI. So this is a plugin of the uh, family of plugins that's AI interpolator, which is basically ch uh, AI chaining mod modules, but also uh, modules to create context for AI and also extracting, uh, uh, extracting logic and stuff like this as well. So there's a lot of different services that you can chain here using uh, using only GUI. So I w everything I show you now will require no code at all. You, you don't need to be a developer to set this up. Then we need the token module to make the prompting feel smarter so you can dynamically load uh, uh, text into the prompt basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. So we just copy the composer command and run it. I have to uh, prefix it with ddev because I'm running ddev and then you see it it downloads admin toolbar in this case uh, for me so if you're from some other uh, programming language like Java you might know Maven or uh, Node you know npm so composer is just the same thing basically uh, so we're just getting these three then the next step we do is we log in on the website uh, and we're click, gonna click manage and extend and this is where you install these modules that we get uh, so what I need is the admin toolbar extra tools and admin toolbar AI interpolator open AI and uh, the token module so we just install these it's gonna say that it's gonna add the open AI core because that's a dependency that it got as well so it will install this and this will complain now that there's no open AI key uh, so we have to have, have to add one so we can add one here or we can go to configuration open AI settings Then I just open where you get the API keys from the open AI uh, Web page so you just log in and get something uh, and go to API keys there basically uh, So we take uh, video testing. I will call this copy this key Paste it in here and we are all set if I reload the error is gone now, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, since I'm not doing any coding in this case, I'm just gonna use something called content types in Drupal. So these are usually for the CMS part of Drupal, but if you want to use this functionality or anything else in the workflows that I've done, so shout out workflows of AI.com. So workflows dash, wait, let me show you instead flows of ai.com it's this web page right so you can find all the different workflows you can use this chaining tools for um, if you want to use anything of it uh, you can set it up without any code and uh, it's also important to know if you just want this as a headless service api or something there is a json api uh, module you can just click extend it's uh, part of core and then you have an API interface where you can basically send the video and the prompt and you get the videos back. So we're gonna do video extractor. We're gonna call this content type. I just 
click disabled as i said this is just cms stuff that i just want to get rid of some stuff and then we also get rid of the body field which is a typical wiser wig field we don't care about this create a new field that we call the origin video origin video which is file upload and a file so these are the field types that basically triggers i mean you use them in drupal for uh, creating complex entity types content types with ai interpolator is basically saying that from one field type to another you can do something so uh, this is what the ai interpolator does so we take origin video and we say this should be mp4 and it should be required because you need to upload something right and then the next thing we do is take a plain text text plain long which is long, just a text area which is the prompt create this uh, this is also required both of these are limited to uh, adding one right so with the video in theory you could actually add multiple uh, and it would extract from all those videos but that would take forever so i uh, it's better to just keep one video the last thing we need to do is add another uh, file field that is the destiny oh, have it there. destination video right so this is where the generated video is going to end up since we can ask for snippets instead of one concatenated video we're going to set unlimited here so we can say that hey create multiple videos here if you want it's also going to be mp4 and then we have the thing that the ai interpolator does and this is just we're saying enable ai interpolator and here we can choose different rules depending on what the origin uh, origin field is and what the field we're trying to generate is right so but in this case there is only open ai video extract extraction so we're using base mode and we're getting from the origin video and then we put a cutting prompt here but since we want this to be flexible so you can write a different prompt for different videos you upload uh, we're gonna use from the token module that we installed so these are the tokens that exist and these we can put there so i can take the node get the prompt and i can just click here and this is gonna be filled out so instead of hard coding some prompt here it's gonna fetch from this field now uh, advanced settings is uh, if you're gonna set this up for real you should run this on the cron job right but now i i have a long timeout so i'm fine with running it directly when you have a chain of, of uh, prompts you can also do the batch mode so you change them using javascript so you don't get timeouts uh, we save this and believe it or not we are set up so let's try this in action now then so i'm just gonna take uh, another thing here baby shark so this is the famous baby shark video right uh, and i write cut out the video that cut out the scenes where there are visual confirmation that you should subscribe so that's it basically there's in the end of the video there is like i think 10 seconds or something where it says like subscribe to us so right now it's just going on the visual part right uh and hopefully this will work and we have set it up and it yeah how long have i been recording eight minutes so you can set this up extremely extremely fast and setting up json api takes another 10 minutes maybe and then you have this as a service uh, running uh, and then we have the destination video we try it so you see it uh, cut out the 10 seconds of the video that was the subscribe we have it working that's it you, you can you know build the whole product out of this i'm gonna expand this later so you, it actually also can um, uh, reformat the resolution so maybe you want a mobile video 69 then there's gonna be another prompt where you can basically say uh, so if you take the ed sheeran video focus on the pizza all the time so basically the camera moves around and focus on the pizza so this is uh, a future 
add-on I'm gonna add soon uh, and that's it thank you for watching